Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. So in this video, I'm going to go over some candlesticks on the weekly chart that could have given you a hint of what was to come in January, because we just saw one of the best starts or one of the best months, because it's basically over um, to a year since I think it was 2000. Um, so it's been an incredible, incredible month. But I want to go over those candlesticks that we were looking at, especially on the weekly chart. So let's get right into it here. Hit the thumbs up for the video. And if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so this is the weekly chart. Like I said, this is the S&P 500. You can see here since October, we've been making a series of higher lows. All right, that's your first hint. But if you look really closely here, and we're just going to take a look at this. I'm going to zoom in. These candles right here. These are dragonfly dojis, okay? These are very bullish candles. When you have these bottoming wicks here, all right? That means that during these weeks, price tried to push down and buyers ate it back up. So you had this nice reversal right here. This is about a three week, um, this is three weeks here worth of that. Every time it dipped, down to that level the buyers bought up all right and you can just look how those weekly candles um close now this weekly candle here the first week of january this is a bullish hammer candle all right so a lot of very bullish looking candles you can even see this candle here another bullish hammer all right even though it's a red candle it still shows these bottoming wicks here that we see. Um, and you can look back here, back over the summer, this weekly candle here was a very good indication. I'm just gonna circle this. A very good indication of what was to come. All right, so be aware of these weekly candles before you guys you know, create that bias and then watch the price action, obviously. The cues on the weekly also, Closing at the highest level for a weekly close since back here at the beginning of September. Just a very, very incredible, uh, incredible rally that we've seen so far. So how far have we rallied on the year? On the NASDAQ, over 12%. Over 12%, a very, very solid move. Um, so let's hope it continues. I love what I'm seeing, but you know, the RSI is starting to get just a little hot on the daily chart. We'll take a look here as we broke that 200 moving average. That was actually very, very key to do. So it did break that. But now if we are looking at the NASDAQ, it's coming up to, you know, really overbought levels. So you can expect at some point here in the near future to see a little bit of a pullback. And if we do get that, we're going to want to see this 200 moving average act as support. And that's on the queues. Um, on the SPY, let's take a look at that one. The RSI is not as bad, but it's starting to get up there. All right. And then on the SPY, we do have that clear resistance there at about the 410 mark. But Liking what I'm seeing, like I said, looking at it on the weekly chart, we like to see these candles, very nice looking candles. So hit the thumbs up for the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.